Yeah, welcome to webinar series from javapassion.com on MySQL. Uh, today's topic is topic number topic number six, triggers and scheduled events. So let's start with the presentation. So we are going to learn what a trigger is and uh, we are going to learn how to retrieve old and new values whenever you are using update triggers and uh, we are going to also see how you can schedule certain events. So what is a trigger? Trigger is a set of SQL statement that automatically executed. Uh, you can think of it as a triggered uh, SQL statement when a specific event occurs. So this is used, a trigger is used for automating some database operations, for example, logging or you want to create some snapshots uh, or computation of some interesting values. You might want that you might compute some summation of certain fields or something like that. And changing data in one table in response to a change in another. So if a particular table changes, then you want to actually trigger something else as well. Uh, that something else could be actually adding or updating or deleting some records in other table. So how does trigger works? Uh, trigger is always associated with a particular table and uh, trigger can be executed either before or after an event or before and after event. An event type can be one of these three things, insertion, update, and delete record from a table. So if you, if you actually uh, think about the uh, two possibilities of before and after for these three different event type, uh, you can think of there are six possible triggers per table. So uh, the, uh, the uh, um, combination of before and after and combination of insert, update, or delete. So this is how you can create a trigger of insert event. So here, we are going to use create trigger statement, and this is the name of your trigger. So here, I just follow the naming, naming convention here, person tables and before insertion. It, the name of this trigger can be anything. And this is a before insert trigger, so that, so you have to, you say before insert on the table, the target table. And uh, then for each row, uh, whenever insertion happens on each of those insertion, you want to perform this operation. So here in this case, what we want to do is we want to insert another record into another table called the person log. So we are creating uh, the, uh, we are actually adding a record into another table called the person log. And uh, so this insert statement is a common insert statement you can find. So here we are inserting current user and then this is the message and this is the current time okay because uh, that's the format of this person log this is insert after uh, the uh, trigger so here instead of before insert all you have to do is using after okay and uh, the message is going to be different here we are going to say about to be added because that's before insert and this one is after insert so we say has been added So this is the update uh, trigger. Uh, again, uh, the only difference is uh, instead of insert, you are going to use update. Okay, and the same thing over here. Uh, this is after update. So let's do exercise one. We are going to use uh, we are going to use uh, hands-on lab documentation. All right. So here, uh, exercise one is uh, so we are going to actually set up our database which is my db here and uh, then you're going to create the test table and uh, this is the same table that we have used before okay so that's the name of the table is person data sql all right so let's create the uh, this data uh, so we are going to uh, i have already set up here my db and uh, then i'm going to create uh, this test table so i'm going to just copy this and Control, oops, sorry. Ah. Let me just start this one. I got. Okay. And use my DB. All right. So, all right. So that works better. Okay. Sorry about that. 
Okay, so we have just created a test table, and uh, if you want to actually use the select person, control C here, and then we are going to see five records. So now we're going to create the uh, uh, triggers. So this is the trigger.sql file. So here we are actually creating six triggers for person table. So this is creating uh, the uh, um, uh, before insert trigger, after insert trigger, before update, after update, and before delete and after, after update. And each time, basically, what we do is we are adding a record into another log table called the person log. Okay, so pretty straightforward. So let's run this trigger. Let's set up this trigger first. So triggers, oops. Uh, trigger. Well, I'm having some SQL script trigger SQL. Uh, Why well, am I having some issues here? Oh, I'm making the transaction. Ah, my apology. Okay, so I'm gonna go to uh, my SQL and trigger. Okay. All right, and use my DB. Okay, and uh, we are going to uh, again create the uh, test table. Okay, now we are going to create the uh, uh, triggers. Okay, so triggers have been created. So if you want to see the list of triggers, you're gonna you're gonna use the show command, show triggers. So you can see we have a bunch of six triggers. So if you actually see the first trigger, uh, the trigger name is person bi before insertion, and event type is insert table. The target table is person. And uh, the things we want to execute uh, for this trigger is this insert into person log file. Okay. All right, so now it, let's actually try to uh, insert certain things. So, uh, you know, for now, if you take a look at the uh, personal log table, uh, there is nothing because we don't have any uh, record. Okay, so empty set. Uh, and uh, we have a person table. Again, we have uh, five people in the list in the, in the table. So now we are going to insert a new person. So we are going to say insert into person table and the values is going to be like this the name of the person is John Kerry okay now if we, if you take a look at the uh, the table then we actually see John Kerry has been added now if you take a look at the uh, uh, person log table now you can see we have two events uh, have been added so this is the user that actually caused that event and that uh, this is a message uh, that I mean this is the uh, message of this record to be added in the person log okay the next one is we are going to update. So let's try update. So we are going to change uh, the uh, John Kerry's first name into uh, Jack. Okay. So now, if you take a look at the uh, person table, uh, John Kerry's name has been changed to Jack Cat, Jack Kerry, and uh, now. Uh, if you take a look at the uh, person log, then we should see two extra events because we have performed update operation and before and after update event has been added here. The last one is delete. So we're going to we're going to delete that person, John Kerry, Jack Kerry from the table. So delete and then person. Okay. All right. So Jack Kerry has been deleted. Now, if you take a look at the uh, personal log, then we are going to see again two extra events has been uh, have been added. Okay, all right. So that is uh, trigger. So let's move on to the next topic: old and new values in update trigger. So in update trigger, you can access uh, old value of a field and new value of a field by using old dot and new dot. Okay. So pretty straightforward. Okay, so this is the way. Uh, so here, you know, the uh, instead of just adding uh, the uh, simple message, we want to also add uh, the uh, old value of first name and the new name of the uh, new first name. Okay, so since we're actually logging in, uh, logging this event, we want to actually capture as much information as possible. So in this case, we're using old and new 
annotation of the first name field. Okay, so this 